I am so excited. I just got delivery of my new Wacom Mobile Studio Pro. Now I've been using the Cintiq Companions since, I guess since I came out, version one and version two, and I love them. But I got a chance to play with one of these uh, a couple months ago, and I couldn't believe the difference. I, so, I, all right, let's get into opening this baby up and see what we've got. We have this new one, it's faster, got 8,000 levels of sensitivity, and when I read that, I thought, yeah, what difference is that gonna make? Really? I've got 2,000 levels of sensitivity now with my companion. What was 8,000 gonna do? Until I tried it. Oh, it was incredible, the difference. So, now yeah, the design is looking a lot, a lot like Apple now. There you go. Very clean. The other thing about the Studio Pro is 16 inch screen rather than 13 inch, which you know, doesn't sound like a huge difference. But when you're drawing on it, it does make a big difference. I mean, you know, it's, as you can see here, it's almost the size of the drawing area on my big 22 inch Cintiq. All right. Now, of course, the question comes, is it going to be charged already? I don't know. In fact, I don't know how to turn it on. Got a little pull, pull on, which is what they did on the companion two, which is nice. You pull it down for a couple seconds. All right, so it looks like there's really no charge on this. Oh, really nice charger blocks. Very nice looking. A brick, not a block, but a charging brick. we got here. Right here's the new pen. I have to make sure I remember that this is the pen for this tablet because I have quite a few Cintiqs here. A very nice little, looks like a suppository. <laughs> that the pen will reside in. Oh, on one end, you can see it. Yeah, right there, little extra nibs, little pen nibs in that end. The first time I opened this, I couldn't figure out how to open it. So I realized, huh, you just pull. All right, so the pen just slips in there. Okay, very nice. The other part of the charging cable. See USB, it looks like it's the new type of USB ports. It's gonna be interesting, so I'm gonna have to get an adapter. And slot for an SD card. Hmm, here's this little thing. I don't know what that is. Wow, I actually have to read a little bit of the instructions here. All right, well, it's booting up. It's just beautiful, smooth to the edge. There you go. So I'm gonna have to do all the setup now, but this is a beautiful, beautiful piece. I love the feel of it. It's not slippery on the edges, um, so it's easy to hold on to. Figure out what kind of stand I wanna use for it. I might use a stand for my companion. Uh, it doesn't look like it comes with a stand. So, let me get into this and I'll let you know. I'm excited. All right, so I've had some time to play around with this a little bit, and it's absolutely incredible. Fact, one of the things, it's a nice little touch, that, uh, you know, I earlier said I didn't know what this little thing was that came. Well, right on the side, right here, 
this goes right into it and it twists and it's a pen holder. I can also stick my pen through it to hold it any number of different ways. There you go. Love little things like that. Now, this is pretty advanced. Um, now, notice I'm using the box at the moment for the, um, for the stand. Uh, I got this relatively early on and the stands were not available yet. So, I'll post on, um, on the comments down below. I'll post the uh, one of the stands that they recommend using while they're still uh, still manufacturing the ones for uh, for Wacom. Um, but if you look right along here, those are the three ports for plugging in peripherals. On this side, I can put a micro SD. Now um, I got the biggest one, so it's got 16 gigs of RAM, which is more than any of my desktops. It's amazing. And um, this also has a 512 gigabyte hard drive, SSD hard drive, which is fantastic. But I back up a lot of files because uh, I do animation and storyboarding and they're all big. So for my uh, Google Drive, I like to use uh, an external. Um, so what I did is I actually just bought a 256 gig um, uh, SD card that if, to you go in the SD slot. So 50% more hard drive for 150 bucks. Uh, so anyways, that works great. But these ports here that I was showing you on the side, those are the USB-C ports. Now those are the new ports, the latest ones they, um, th that are really incredible. So uh, it's everything can work. You can charge through the unit. In fact, the charger that comes with the unit uses a USB-C. Um, uh, but peripherals, keyboards, um, I said charging. Um, yeah, video, audio, all go through USB-C. Problem is I didn't have any USB-Cs, uh, so I had to go out and, and buy an adapter. So just be aware of that. So one of the things I bought at Office Depot is this adapter here. So it's got a USB-C uh, connection on one side, and then it's got two USB-3 ports um, and uh, an HDMI, as well as, um, an internet cabling uh, or uh, just a cable port. So an HDMI is what I needed the most. Um, and, and because I do a lot of presentations, which I'm doing one next week uh, with this unit, I also, uh, I, I use the, um, uh, the mini display port. So I just bought, and I'm waiting for it to come in on Amazon, um, a USB-C to mini display port so I can use my other adapters which will work for anything. So, uh, but it's nice to see that they're working with the latest and greatest. It's the newest technology, it's the fastest technology, and um, you know, once everyone starts converting over to it, it's one set of plugs, one set of wires for anything and everything. So rather than this adapter, that adapter, all these different things, we're now with this able to have one set of cables that does everything. So like anything new, there'll be a little transition time, I'm really impressed. But the, uh, there's no parallax when I'm drawing on this. And, and that means the, uh, the separation between the tip and, and uh, when you're touching the glass and what you're actually drawing, there's zero. It's like you're really on it. And it's amazing what a difference that makes. Uh, the speed is incredible. I'm still playing with it. I actually, I was doing some photos with it a couple minutes ago in, in a darkened room. They took gorgeous photos. Uh, it's got an eight megapixel uh, camera on the front and a five megapixel camera on the back uh, or vice versa, however you want to say it. Um, and it even has a 3D camera. When it comes to software to use it, there you can see it's multiple, um, th there's two lenses on there and they even give you fr a free year um, connection to the software that actually can build things. So you can take the your 3D and go around a chair or a couch or an object and it'll scan it and create the object in 3D in your 3D software. All built in to this one unit. Absolutely incredible. Um, the size is fantastic. It's exactly what I want to be uh, working on with all my drawings. And for those of you who don't know, I'm a story artist. I've done over 4,000 productions. So this is my life um, is drawing all the time. So. Uh, I cannot wait to start using it more and more. Can't recommend it highly enough. Uh, it is a step up from the Cintiq Companions, 
um, which I love and I've been using them for years. But this I did, I'm gonna cry. Right, let me get back to drawing. All right, so I've had a chance to play with this a little bit and I've got a couple options for stands on it as well. So uh, one of the things that I did is I bought myself a pair of the uh, large door stops, uh, the ones that are pretty tall, two and a half, three inches at least. Uh, obviously those are great, they're rather lightweight and then you can adjust if it's uh, really low or make it a higher angle. And this actually works well because you can really bear down on it and it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, so these are great. They only cost a couple bucks. I'm, I got them on Amazon. They uh, sent to me the next day. Um, and then they stack for, uh, for easy carrying. Although, being that thick, it's not the most optimum way in the world to, uh, to put them into, into my backpack. So uh, when I talked to Wacom, they suggested this. It's uh, Kensington. I don't remember the exact name of it. Uh, I'll post uh, on the, the notes below. Uh, what what this exact is and link to it but it's great because it'll uh, it locks it, it goes rather relatively flat and it'll lock into numerous positions and um, and it's uh, once you tighten that up it's got a little lip there you can see it fits right onto and again no problem at all really bearing down on it as I'm working so this has been uh, been fantastic. It's lightweight. I carried it with me on a trip. There are times I like it higher, like the uh, like I have it right here, or when I'm uh, in the middle of drawing something, I'll just lower it down a little bit. It only takes a second. Uh, I actually find it it works extremely well, so it's a good option, and didn't cost that much. So again, I'll post all this information uh, down below. What a great machine! So if you can pick up one of these Mobile Studio Pros, oh. It is absolutely amazing and blinding fast. And the bigger screen, the 16 inch screen, is, I didn't realize what a difference six, uh, three inches, three extra inches from the other Cintiq companions would make, but it just makes drawing so much easier. I'm not feeling like I'm having to work extremely small anymore. One word, awesome.